Right ho, welcome back to a new episode. So uh, we're in a bit of a different location for this one. If you've uh, been around for a while and you've watched all my videos, you'll probably recognize this area. But this is my garage carport area, part of the house. And figured we'd give this area a bit of a, uh, bit of a spruce up. So something that I suppose a few people who don't have the space for a shed or something at the back can sort of relate to. So we're gonna give this area a bit of the hack TV treatment. So let's have a look at what we got. I've actually already done a little bit of stuff here cause I honestly wasn't planning on filming too much of it, but decided may as well film it. So what I've done in between these brick piers that you can see on my right here actually was just all open and you could see into the neighbor's side. So. What I've done is I've just put a little concrete upstand down the bottom and reason for that is to keep the stud frame that I've built up off the ground because the floor of this shed, of this garage is actually um, just these brick pavers which eventually would get the arse um, but temporarily because I don't really want to drop you know 15 grand on concrete just yet I can just put them on the upstand and then later the concrete can get, just get poured into that. So that's sort of where I've got to at the minute and I've just lined the walls with just a James Hardy um, FC cladding. So that's sort of where we're at now. So let's um, get into it and see what we can come up with for a bit of a redesign in here. So in a couple of areas in this part of the house, the uh, mortars actually started to sort of you know, come away from the brick there. So it's only really from like the, the first like six or so courses, but um, just to, you know, stop any future erosion of this mortar, I'm just gonna fill that in. I actually have done an episode on this back in the early days. So if you wanna see sort of in depth how I do that, um, go check that out. I'll probably put a link in the description or whatever. But anyway, it's not um, too exciting stuff. It's just mixing up some mortar and just feeding it in there and just, you know, smoothing it out and making it all look somewhat presentable. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that and then, um, yeah, we'll get cracking on to the next thing. Alrighty, now that that um, average job is done, can get stuck into the fun stuff. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting some bench top slash shelving in along these walls in between the brickwork. So essentially I'll do something similar to what I've done in the shed. I'll just uh, knock up a bit of a frame and I'll insert a bit of yellow tongue just for the top. And if I feel like it needs a bit more support in the middle, I'll put that angle brace like I've done on the benches in the back corner of the shed of the shed so um, yeah let's get some uh, framing pine and uh, start knocking this up right oh so what I'm gonna do is just I've got a full piece to run across the front so this is just a bit of 90 by 45. And then I've got a few of these off cuts, 90 by 35, that I've just had from previous projects. So I don't need a full piece to run across the back because I can screw in along the studs, um, along that back wall. So I've just um, cut a couple pieces to make up the length there. And then I'll just put a couple of, um, a couple of little noggings in between just to make up the distance, frame it all together. So for this, I've just got some, just got some bugles that I've used in the past. Pre-drill, knock it together, and then I'll screw it to the back wall. And I might just chuck masonry anchor in each side of the brickwork just to stop that front end from wanting to flex down. And then we'll see how that goes. And I might look into putting in a little angle piece there. So let's uh, get knocking this thing together. <laughs>
Righto, so there's the frames done. And honestly, just for that tiny little span, it feels pretty strong to me, like, I reckon I can just about sit on it. Yeah. So I'm probably not gonna bother about putting that little angle piece in and just uh, keep going from here. So I reckon I've got time to get a bit of yellow tongue and um, sheet the top of these, so let's do it. Time to give her a lick of paint. Magnetic catch. You ripper. Righto, so while I continue rolling the ceilings, Brittany's gonna just be priming the raw FC. I'm not gonna fill in any of those holes. I'm just gonna paint over it. Should look all right. If I uh, change my mind later, because I don't like it, I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll work something out. But for now, I'm just gonna prime it, because obviously it's raw, and we need to seal it before we hit it with the paint. So, let's do it. Righto, so for lights, I was thinking about doing something similar to, to the uh, shed with those long sort of batten lights. Um, yeah, it went against that. So I'm actually just gonna bang a couple of down lights up in here. I think it should light the area pretty good, plus, um, cause they're down lights and light only shines down. It's a bit of a illusion on what's going on with the ceiling, cause it's a bit how you're going. So it should uh, camouflage a few of the um, ceiling joints and all that sort of stuff. So uh, let's get those in now. Righto, so now it's time to do some unnecessary uh, Nah, so what I'm thinking of doing is just a bit of a picture frame type little detail. So that's why I didn't really go into too much effort into filling in those cracks. So I'm actually gonna run a bit of framing pine just to sort of box out a little section to give it a bit of zhuzh, you know? And um, yeah, I'll put something in there later which will hopefully make a bit more sense. But yeah, let's uh, start chopping up some wood. Done the bloody 100 mil trick. Back to Bunnings. Alrighty, so, aim of the game here is we've got a bottom piece, top piece, two side pieces, bang them together with a couple of screws, and uh, Bob's your uncle, so let's do it. So, just to uh, give that timber a bit of a finish on it, just got uh, some linseed oil and I'll just wipe it over the top and um, yeah, just rub it back into the timber. Um, the other thing is now, this one here on the left, uh, yeah, she ain't coming off. So, I was going to um, put the uh, oil on it before I put it up, uh, but I wanted to just give it a bit of a test fit and uh, she tight. So, yeah, I'll be doing that one on the wall and the other one I'll be able to do before I put it up. And uh, yeah, I'll put a couple of fixings into the wall while she's there. So let's do it. Just gonna bang in a couple of screws. I was gonna actually put a couple on the sides and the brickwork, but you know, we're not holding up horses here. So I just figured couple of screws just into the stud, probably one, two, three, top and bottom, should do the trick. So, let's do it.
Right, oh, that's it, job done. We've got a couple little workbenches, shelves, we've got a little bit of a picture frame thing going on here. Another little shelf, I guess, as well. And um, yeah, we've given you light to me old carport. So yeah, hope you liked it, enjoyed that, got something out of it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to see a bit more of this sort of stuff. But yeah, other than that, see you on the next one. Cheers for watching.